I'm going to show you guys how to uh, rig up a fly rod for sockeye salmon in Alaska. So, my favorite rod is um, a 7 weight. Most people use a little bit heavier, but I like a, a light setup. Um, anything from a 6 weight to a 9 weight will work just fine. I'm in bear country, so whenever I hear a noise, it kind of uh, wakes me up. So I got six feet of 20 pound test. And you can use 30 pound test if you want to go a little heavier. And then I tie a little single uh, barrel swivel right here. And then I add a couple of split shot, two or three split shot at the most. The, the bigger split shots seem to um, hold on better, but if they're too big, they get hung up in the rocks. And then the line of the day for the leader, I like to use about a 12 pound test maxima line, but you can use 10, 15. And I'll have anywhere from three to four feet. And then I'll tie in a fly. You don't need much of a fly, just something little like this right here. I don't know if you can see that. But um, just a little, bucktail, streamer, real sparse is what you want. Don't get the really thick heavy ones. Anywhere from a size 8 to 4 hook. Like I, I use the Gamagatsu egg hooks, they work fine. But you can use some of the longer shank hooks, they work fine too. It's more um, technique and presentation than it is about the fly. And um, so now I'm gonna show you how I fish and I actually use the weight of the sinker to cast not the weight of the fly line but um, anyways let's okay if you get any uh, weeds at all on your line make sure that you take them off you'll never catch any fish with seaweed or grass of any sort on your line. Now what I like to do is I just kind of pull out a few feet of line like this and I pull the pull the line in until it's close to the tip and I use my index finger here to hold the line in place and then I grab it with my left hand and I'll flip it and I'll let go. It's all about timing. So I'm gonna go out here and see if I can catch a fish. You want to hold your rod tip high, like this. And pretty much cast straight out. You can cast a little bit upstream, a little bit downstream, depending on the current and situation. Just experiment with it until you get the right angle. And you want the sinkers to be bouncing on the bottom. If you're not bouncing on the bottom, you're not going to catch any fish because the salmon are always at the bottom of the stream. You want to look around every once in a while, see if there's any bears. This particular section has a lot of bears here on Kodiak Island. So if a bear comes through, just get out of the way and then when it goes past, you can start fishing again. Nothing to get too alarmed about. And when you when you get a fish, you want to get it on the reel as quickly as possible, and let let your drag do all of the work. So when I transport my uh, my rod a short distance, what I'll do is I'll reel it until the split shot is kind of close to the reel. And then I'll just bring it up and hook it on here and then I can just kind of snug it up like this. And then that way this isn't banging around against the rod. If it's, if it's down here, it's not going to damage your rod as much. So. And you don't want to set the hook because if, if you're fishing 
and you go like this, a trooper sees you, they're gonna get, you're gonna get a ticket. That's snagging. You don't need to snag. Let the fish bite the hook. It's fishing, not snagging. I know a lot of people say that salmon don't bite, but I can assure you they do. Because when I switch different colors, fly colors, it makes a difference. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck.